I'm Ree. Welcome back to my channel, Mummy of Four Does Disney. Today I have a Disney Loungefly mini backpack haul and unboxing for you from Very Nico. And then we're going to have a look at some different ways that we can style the bags to wear on a day out in the Disney parks or a day out in your normal real life just to add a little sprinkle of Disney to your day that perhaps is a little less of an out there outfit, something that's a bit more wearable in your normal life. I've got some other bits and pieces that I have bought to go in some of these outfits so as we get to those through the video I want you to let me know in the comments which are keepers and which should be sent back. So let's take a look at the first bag. Now if you saw this video where we were planning all the outfits to wear to Disney World in January 2022 you'll know that I really really wanted this bag to wear with some of the outfits that I had planned but it was not released at the time before we traveled. So I cannot tell you how thrilled I am to have this in my hands now. So thank you so much to Very Nico who have very kindly sent me the bags and the ears that I'm going to show you in this video. I have worked with Very Nico before and I have got discount codes which you can find on screen and in the accompanying blog post. All the bits that I'm showing in this video are linked in a blog post so if you after a specific item of clothing or bag or whatever you can find all the details in that blog post. So this is Minnie Mouse Oh My Sweets. It's just so beautiful. So we've got Minnie Mouse holding a cupcake. Obviously it's got the classic lounge fly zips, the spotty mini all around the front. The back says, oh my, with a little kind of icing on the O. And then the lining on this bag is just gorgeous. It's all cupcakes. This bag, and I've noticed this with a couple of these newer bags actually, has got a really deep pocket. So difficult to show you on camera but a lot of these inner pockets sometimes in bags are just a small zip section kind of this deep this one goes all the way to the bottom so my fingers are touching there of this bag so that inner pocket is huge which can be quite helpful for putting different bits and pieces in I also like that this bag as well as having the lounge fly on the side has got nice deep pockets on each side that's big enough to put your phone in for most people. It's just such a classic beautiful bag. In just a second we're going to have a look at how we can style this bag but first I just want to show you something to go with it. Gotta love how lounge flight ears come in their own little bag but look how cute these ears are. These are the balloon ears. There was a specific balloon bag that went with these ears but I've got to say Mini Oh My Sweets is probably my favourite classic mini bag that I've seen in these classic red and white spots. Just love it. So these ears, I think they're a really good go-to classic ear that would go with quite a lot of things because they're classic mini but they're a little bit different because they look like the balloons that you would get in the parks. Let's have a quick look at some bits that I've got. I've got two items that I've bought in this haul and then we're going to do a little try on. So I'm going to show you first and we'll do a little try on with some of these items plus some of the bits I've already got from my wardrobe as ideas how to style this bag before we move on to the next one. So this is a red 50s dress. Now a lot of the Disney bounding looks tend to be kind of quite 50s themed. I love the 50s style especially for the parks. Disney bounding, by the way, if you're not familiar with it, it's basically adults aren't allowed to wear costumes in Disney, but Disney bounding isn't about costumes. It's about dressing in the style of a character or a ride or taking inspiration from something, taking the colour palette and not taking anything too literally, but just kind of having fun with it. So this is very similar to another dress that I wore on one of our previous trips and I've got it either in red or I don't know if this is going to be a good idea considering I have four children the same dress in white. So to go with this bag, we've either got the red or the white. Let's try them on, because let's face it, it's very difficult to see with these dresses without trying them on, which is gonna go better with Minnie, or if it's better to send both of these back and wear an outfit that I already have. First outfit I have to show you is really simple and ideal for day to day. Just a simple black jumper, some gray jeans and cute boots. This is a really simple Disney bag that you can wear around your hometown or you can add ears and you park ready for a cooler day. Or you could go for a white jumper version with black jeans and some white trainers. 
These are the trainers as it happens that I wore all around Florida, they're just Primark trainers, and they were actually really comfortable. Or even a red jumper with ears for the park, without ears for a more casual look. And then some black jeans and some red Converse style shoes. Now from a lot more of a park look, you could go for a spotty skirt, with a black top and of course ears. I actually wore this outfit, minus the bag, because I didn't have it yet, for embarking the Disney Magic at Sea Cruise and our first day in the Magic Kingdom in our Florida trip. And I loved it, I must admit, this is loads of fun. For our Florida trip, I wore my trainers that are now falling to bits. Today I've put these red Converse style shoes with this outfit. I do think this bag sets off this outfit beautifully. For me, this is a perfect Disney Parks look. It is worth mentioning that if you are getting on and off rides, especially if you think it may be a little windy, it's probably worth wearing a pair of stretchy shorts under any twirly skirt. So if you are twirling by the castle and a big gust of wind comes along, no one is going to see your underwear. So don't forget to vote in the comments which of these looks is your favourite. Now we're getting a bit more extra. This is the white dress that I've actually bought in this haul. Don't know if this is a keeper or a send back. It is definitely a different look, a very summery look with this bag. I've added a red belt that I already had. I don't know if it's giving me Minnie Mouse vibes or more Maria from West Side Story or maybe Mary Poppins. It does go, or do you know what else would be quite good? With this bag, the Marie Lounge Fly bag that Barry Nico have, with a pink belt. What do you think of that as a different outfit? So I'm not sure about this as a Minnie Mouse. I do like it, but I think some of my other options may be better. Let us know what you think in the comments. Or is this red dress better? This is pretty much the exact reverse of the outfit we just had on. So this is the other dress that I bought. I need to decide, do I keep the red one, keep the white one, or send both back? Is this more Minnie Mouse? I think this might be a little more mini than the white one. What do you think? Which goes better? Which makes a better Disney bound? And which is just a bit more wearable? Because it's also worth bearing in mind which items of clothing, when you're buying them, could you wear again in your real life? So am I more likely to wear a red dress, say, in the summer or out for a meal than a white one? The answer is probably, so maybe the red one is a bit more practical to keep. Or is this better? And this is a dress that I already own. I actually wore this dress to Hollywood Studios and if you saw the planning what we're wearing to Florida video, this is the bag I wanted to go with this dress, but it was not yet released. I was gutted <laughs> the day I wore this dress it was pouring with rain, so didn't manage to get lots of pretty pictures and things, and it was probably my favorite dress of the whole trip. So I definitely think if we are doing another parks trip, then this dress deserves an outing. So if I've got this dress, which is pretty much the same style as the white and the red, do I need either of those? The other thing worth considering, of course, is that the red dress may be suitable for a Disney bound for a bag I have coming up in this video, so stay tuned before we make a final decision on that. But let me know. What do you think of this Disney bound? Is this one that should definitely make it into the case for an upcoming park strip? I'm thinking it might be. Now this next bag is from one of my very favorite Disney films of all time, Beauty and the Beast. And if you have seen my vlogs, especially my vlogs in the park, you'll know that Beauty and the Beast is the absolute favorite of my eldest daughter, Bella. Was she named Isabella a little bit after Belle? Little tiny bit, because I do love Belle. And um, not nearly as much, however, as Bella loves Belle. She's kind of obsessed. So this bag is stunning. On the front, it's got Belle reading to the sheep in front of the fountain, and then it's got the Beast's castle and kind of the stained glass kind of look. And then on the back, it's got the stained glass window of Belle and the prince when he is no longer a beast. It has got a slim pouch on the front. Kind of handy for me, um, if I'm out and about, I use that for kind of batteries and SD cards and things for my cameras, but you could use it for whatever you wanted. It has got a nice pouch on the side with Mrs. Potts and Chip and then another pouch on the side, all very stained glass kind of feel to it with Lumiere and Cogsworth, or Clogsworth as my children used to call him when they were little. Classic lounge fly zips on this one. And then inside it's got kind of a stained glass feel again with the rose in the lining. And then this has got the very, very large inner pouch again. So it's very difficult to show you, but this pouch is huge. My hand is all the way in, as you can see and the pouch, I can spread out my hand inside the pouch. So that's a rather large inner pouch. So ideas for 
this. I've got a few dresses and things from my existing wardrobe that I'm gonna show you as style ideas for this. But also, I did order some new bits and pieces to try. So this is from Bowdoin again, and this has got just like a little gathering on the sleeve. I thought that could be a really, with like jeans, a really classic, simple, day-to-day -day kind of bell, Disney bound, without being too in your face. Kind of okay for the school run or the park. Or then maybe a bit more summery, this vest top might work. Could try that on perhaps with a cardigan, a white cardigan. Or would that work perhaps with a shirt underneath? A white shirt to be village belle, as my daughter Bella would call it. So I bought a few of these different blue tops. I really am only going to keep one of them. You guys are gonna have to just help me decide which to keep and which to send back. This is the blue version of the top I am wearing now which is lovely. It feels really nice. It's a nice kind of thick quality fabric, but I thought maybe the blue version. So really, I don't need that and the jumper. We need to try them on and decide which is best. So I'm definitely just gonna keep one of these two. You can help me pick which looks better and which goes better with the bag. And then my final option, this actually, I'm not sure how well this will go with the bag. I'm thinking this might be a bit much. I do like this jumper, but generally when it comes to Disney bounds, there's always an exception that proves the rule, but generally the Disney lounge fly bags are quite detailed, quite patterned, and I would go for much plainer clothing. So a very patterned bag and a very patterned top is probably a bit much. And I would say that although I kind of ordered this thinking maybe it would work, I'm thinking it's just a bit much. Thoughts? The only real way we're gonna know is by trying them on. But before we do that, I've just got to show you this. This is the lounge fly backpack that my daughter did. So she's made this bag. So this is the front of the backpack that's got Belle and the sheep and the castle just like the real bag. She's put a loop on the top and then on the back, she's got Belle and the Beast and the roses, just like the real bag. Had to show you that, not entirely relevant, but I just thought it was adorable. Now this is too busy, isn't it? I like this top. It's too much with the bag, I think. The bag is beautiful, but busy. And I think the bag deserves a nice, plain top to go with it. I've got this just with jeans and some navy pumps, but what do you think? Too much? Not so fast on this combination, personally. Now, I personally think this combination works much better. The jumper is plainer. This would work for day-to-day -day or in the parks. You can add some ears or like I did for Bella's hair, just put a bit of hair back with a bow in it and suddenly you've got Belle ready to read her books. And really, because the colors on this are much simpler, the bag does all the talking, I think this is much better than the busier option. So the real question is, is the jumper that we just saw better or this more like a t-shirt top? It's a darker color. Is this a better color for Belle with the other one being a lot lighter? So is this a better option as a Belle? very casual Disney bound. Or am I better keeping a more optimistic short sleeved version? Summer is coming, at least spring may be coming, eventually, fingers crossed. Or a very, very optimistic vest top version in the same color. Really, I only need one of these, which one do I keep? Of course, I could wear the blue dress that I previously wore on the cruise to be Elsa, or to Florida to be Cinderella in the blue dress to go with this beautiful bag too. Moving on to the next very beautiful bag, which is another Minnie Mouse, but a very different Minnie Mouse. This is Minnie Mouse holding flowers in lilac. She's absolutely gorgeous. So we've got another nice big pouch on the front with the lining, which is kind of very pastel and floral. I love that this bag has embroidery on it. So these flowers are not just printed on, they're embroidered and on the ears too. It has got pouches on both sides of the bag. And if we look inside, then this one has got the very beautiful floral pastel lining. And this one's actually got a zip pouch inside. Maybe not quite as large as the pouch in the other bag, but it is a zippered pouch. So it's entirely up to your kind of personal preference, I guess, as to which pouch you prefer. It probably doesn't make a massive difference to the bag, certainly doesn't make a difference to the look of it. You can see that this bag has actually been adjusted down. When my girls use the bags, we adjust the straps and kind of feed them through 
the buckle like that just to make them a lot shorter. Lounge fly straps can be quite long. So if you are not the tallest of people, so sometimes I actually do this when I'm wearing the bags myself, or if your children are borrowing them, then it is well worth just tucking the straps in like so and feeding them back through that clasp just to shorten the straps. To go with this bag, I ordered this dress, but now I just don't know. I'm not sure if the colour is at all right, and I'm not sure if it's a bit flimsy or see-through. We're definitely going to have to try that on to see how it's going to look on. I thought this would be a really good dress for the parks, but now it's here in my hands, I don't know. So I'll try that on in a second and you can help me decide. Then I've also got these, which I thought were going to be more purpley, but actually they're really like raspberry kind of coloured. And I'm not sure those, no, that's not going to work at all, is it? I don't know. Not sure about these for this bag anyway. We'll try them on and see what we think. The last haul item that I thought may or may not go with this bag. I wasn't sure. I was struggling to find lilac and definitely the right lilac, but I thought I could maybe pick out this pink from the flower in this top. This is a Bowden top, and I know I'd wear this lots in my kind of real life. So I bought that to try with the bag. Let's do a try on and decide what we're gonna keep, what we're gonna send back, and use some of the bits from my existing wardrobe to show you some style ideas for this bag. I actually think that this bag is really good for the 30th anniversary celebrations if you're heading to Disneyland Paris because all of the themings are very kind of blues and purples. So this would go quite nicely, I think. So for this look, we've just got a very simple lilac skater skirt from my existing wardrobe that I think I wore this on the Disney Magic at Sea Cruise and just a very simple plain vest top and a pair of lilac flip-flops from Primark. Ears wise, I don't have the perfect ears to go with this bag. I've got these which are kind of tangled themed, but they are perfect purple or these pink ones. So let me know, do either of those go or do I have to go earless with this outfit? Now this is the dress I bought thinking it was lilac and I'm really not sure about it at all. It's kind of like so pale, it's almost like white. I don't really feel like this is doing anything for me. I think this is a send back. What do you reckon? This is another one I bought in this haul and I'm just not sure. I feel like maybe it's a little bit too short, a little bit too frilly. It's definitely giving me more Marie from the Aristocats vibes than it is mini holding flowers. <sighs> I don't know. About this, for this bag, it is kind of pretty and cutesy, maybe good for the parks. As a mum of four, white is not a practical colour. I wouldn't exactly want to sit down anywhere, so maybe that alone is reason enough to steer clear of the white. But I don't know if I would ever wear this in my real life either. What do we think about this outfit look generally and whether it's a keep or a send back? I'm currently wearing it with the flip flops, but to be honest, the most practical shoes for the parks have got to be trainers, which would go as well. Trying these trousers on because I bought them, but to be honest, they don't go with this. They don't go with this. I think they've got to go back. Slung on some jeans that I already own, I think these are going to work a lot better. The question is, this pink top, which we're picking out this pink flower colour in the bag, does this go quite nicely for either a casual park Disney bound or a day to day? Or are we better off just sticking with a lilac t-shirt that I already own from my wardrobe? Or for if it's a bit cooler, a nice snuggly lilac sweatshirt from Primark. This is really soft and would be great for keeping warm either in the questionable British climate or in a colder day in the parks. Or this jumper, which is also from Primark, just like that last snuggly one. Now I know I said that you're better off keeping it kind of plain colours, but does this work? I think this might be the exception that proves the rule. This with jeans is a great Minnie Mouse lilac spring Disney bound that you can wear day to day. And now, if you've been keeping an eye on the goings on in Disneyland Paris, and perhaps listening to the channel here, you may know that although I don't have anything to tell you in this video, there is potentially a trip announcement video coming very soon for Disneyland Paris. That's all I'm gonna say at this point, but make sure you're subscribed with bell notifications on because that information will be coming very soon. But the Disneyland Paris news is that in summer 2022, 
the Avengers Campus will be opening in Disneyland Paris. And one of the rides, the rocking roller coaster, is being rethemed as an Iron Man attraction. So this bag is perfect. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I am not as familiar with all of the Marvel films as, say, my eldest two, who have seen all of them and are kind of obsessed, but this is pretty cool, and I'm really excited for the Avengers Campus, partly because William, who is my second child, my younger son, is just so excited for it. Honestly, I can't even tell you. So I would imagine he'll be fighting me for this bag, if and when we are lucky enough to get there. So this bag has got a very cool little hidden feature in this front pouch where it does say Marvel, Marvel, Marvel on the lining. I'll show you the lining a bit better in a second, but in here it's got, if you flick this on, if I just turn this light off, can you see? That is actually lit up. Not sure, I've still got some lights on behind the camera so you can actually see the bag. Alexa, turn dressing table off. There we go, now I've turned that off, you can actually see the light. How cool is that? A little light up bag. I love these extra details that Loungefly put into their bags. Alexa, turn dressing table on. So this Iron Man bag is super cool because, now I, I'm gonna admit here that I don't actually know Iron Man's alter ego name. That's pretty bad, isn't it? But when Iron Man is not Iron Man, but his alter ego name, you can clip him up and pop his face up so he is the man underneath the mask. What is his name? I'm sure I know that normally. <laughs> anyway, you can pop that up and down. Someone will let me know in the comments what Iron Man's other name is. This is one of the pop collection from Loungefly um, because it's just kind of got that, that Funko Pop styling on it as opposed to the classic Disney styling. It says, I am Iron Man on the back and inside it's got Iron Man lining. Now, I've mostly got bits in my wardrobe that I'm going to use to style this bag, other than these jeans, which I will put on and either love or hate. I'm not quite sure yet. So we're going to try those on in just a second. But also, the red dress that we tried on earlier with Minnie will also work for an Iron Man Disney bag. So keep that in mind when voting on this dress to keep or send back that it could go for two different bounds. Let's take a look at how to style Iron Man as a Disney bound. So for my first Iron Man Disney bound, I've got a very simple red jumper, the same one we had for the basic Minnie Mouse Disney bound, and just blue jeans. Just keeping it really simple, as in this is something that's wearable in day-to-day -day life. And then you've got the option to add a headband. These are just stolen from my daughters. These are a pack of loads and loads of them. You could either add a gold or a red, just to jazz it up a little bit more if you're heading to the parks. Of course, the mini ears I really do think work even with other Disney bounds because they're just classic, aren't they? They are classic ears. So what do you reckon? Mini ears with the Iron Man lounge fly? Yes or no? So you could go for this super simple day-to-day -day look or take it up a notch with these kind of mustardy yellow trousers. Now these were bought in this haul and I really wasn't expecting to like them. I think in the picture they were more yellow than this and I don't know, I bought them as a bit of a wild card. But you know what? I don't hate them. The only thing is, am I getting Iron Man vibes or am I getting Winnie the Pooh vibes? which is cool, that is a look as well. So let me know, does this work for Iron Man or would I be better off with a Winnie the Pooh bag and doing a Winnie the Pooh Disney bound like this? Because if we are gonna be going to Disneyland Paris and you do need to keep watching, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I feel a trip announcement coming, I feel one coming. But if we are going there, we're going to the Avengers Campus. We're gonna need an Avengers Disney bound. Okay, I think this one may be an accidentally Disney bound as Winnie the Pooh kind of dress. I mean, this combination, this skirt and top, would do really well as Winnie the Pooh, so maybe this bag is a must. But to make it a bit more Iron Man, they did have a gold version of this skirt. It was a bit shorter and a lot more extra, but if you wanna go Iron Man, then that skirt is linked in the blog post below. That's probably gonna be better than this yellow one that I already had that I used for Disney bounding as Snow White. But it's a look. I'm not sure it's just to go with this look. Now, I like this for Minnie Mouse, but I think I love this for the Iron Man Disney bound, especially since it's an Iron Man themed roller coaster going into the Avengers campus. So I've got a little gold headband. There was a necklace that 
they had that I have my eye on that I have linked in the blog post that would go really really well with this to really kind of complete the outfit and then obviously the bag is the gold of the headband plus the red of the dress and the red of the Converse style shoes. These are actually kind of much cheaper versions that I had online. Those are linked in the blog post too. So what do you think? Is this dress a keep or a send back? And does it work best for Iron Man, Minnie Mouse or both? So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've got some fun outfit ideas both for using your lounge fly at home and in the parks. Make sure you are subscribed with bell notifications on so you do not miss upcoming vlogs and announcements. See you guys soon. Bye.